Then let's turn on the Octocam and see if it works. Barnacles to Shellington. Is the Octocam working? Yes, Captain. The picture of the hermit crab is coming in nice and clear. No one's explored this part of the ocean before. With this Octocam, we can film the sea creatures who live here. Very good. Barnacles out. Good work, Octonauts. Let's head back to the octopod. What's that sound? Hmm, nothing, I guess. Hmm. from outside the gun. Is there anybody out there? Uh, nobody but those tiny, skinny black fishies. The gun probably just needs a checkup, Cap. We'll be home soon, and then you can take a look. <laughs> Thanks, Tunip. These fish biscuits are delicious. Fascinating. How many sea stars are travelling together in this group? Let's see. There's one, two, huh? Oh, come back! Captain! Something's wrong with the Octocam. Let me see what I can do. It's not working. Hmm, that's strange. The Octocam was working perfectly when we left. Yes, can you come on down here? There's something you've just got to see to believe. Check out these three perfectly round holes in the gut. Whoa, what could have made those holes? Uh, not what, Captain? Who? Look at this! A whole set of teeth! Strong enough to take a bite out of the gup. Hmm, first our gup was damaged, and now the octocam isn't working. This smells fishy. Tweak, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, there's something very wrong with the Octocam. We've got to get back there. I'll have those holes in the gut bay fixed up faster than you can say bunch of munchy crunchy carrots. Thanks, Tweak. Shellington, see if you can work out whose teeth these are while we check on the Octocam. All right, Captain. I wonder what kind of animal would leave their teeth behind like that. Don't worry. I'll get to the tooth. Uh, I mean, truth. <laughs> yeah, this is a mystery, and we've got to solve it. Quasi, Peso, into the gup with me. It's not working all right. Not beeping, or whirring, or nothing. And here's why. Three holes in the rubber cable. Just like the holes in the gup. Three more holes here. And here. Hmm, who's biting our equipment? <sighs> Captain, Quasi, I found another set of teeth. Where? Yeah. They were here just a second ago. Look! It's gone. There's nothing around but those skinny little fish. It's like someone's playing tricks on us and then disappearing. Who would do that? I know, but I wish I didn't. It is none other than the Dry Toothed Terror. The who-toothed water? The tri-toothed terror. A giant sea monster with three huge, sharp teeth. He sneaks up on pirate ships, bites up with his enormous teeth, <laughs> then disappears into thin air. You think the tri-toothed terror could be around here, following us? Hmm, I don't think we're dealing with the tri-toothed terror. Well, if it isn't the tri-toothed terror that made these holes, then what was it, I ask ye? <laughs> Where's that coming from? <laughs> it's a blue whale. 
Maybe he's seen something that could help us work this out. <laughs> Excuse me, but... <laughs> What's so funny? It's me, eye patch, Crooked. <laughs> Something's tickling my blubber, but I can't tell what. I wish it would stop now. <laughs> Can you help me? It's down by my tail. <laughs> ah, we've seen these marks before. Oh, it's under my chin now. <sighs> that scurvy tried tooth terror must be nearby, but where? Ooh, I've, I've got to get out of here. Hold on to me. <laughs> Whoa, that was a wild ride. I wish I knew who was tickling me. I think the creature who gave you the giggles is the same one that's been giving us trouble. It left more of them tiny round marks in your blubber. Don't worry, Blue Whale. The Octonauts will find the troublemaker and stop him. Ah, nope, too big. Too small, too thin. Nope, nope, nope. Wait a minute. There, that's it. Captain, I know whose teeth these are. Great work, Shellington. They're called cookie cutter sharks. They dig their teeth into a whale's blubber and leave round holes, the way a cookie cutter leaves a shape in dough or pastry. So that's why they went after the blue whale. They wanted a bite of his blubber. But why did the wee sharks attack the octocam cables? Because they get confused and mistake soft material like rubber for blubber. Rubber for blubber. We've got to ask them to stop biting our equipment. But first, we need to catch these rubber blubber lovers. And I have an idea. Barnacles to Tweak, we're going to need your help. Hey, Cap, you ordered a big rubber whale balloon? Thanks, Tweak. Let's set it up near the Octocam and then everybody hide. I'm innocent. I wasn't even there. You took bites out of our equipment and broke it. Oh, that. Uh, look, we're, we're cookie cutter sharks. We uh, thought your equipment was food, so we took a nibble. Uh, sorry. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Sorry. Sorry about that. Sorry. But how did you keep hiding from us? Uh, 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 yeah, clamming up, are you? Oh, okay, okay. We'll show you how we do it. Your bellies glow. So when we're looking at them from below, they blend in with the sunlight. And all you see are those black marks that make them look like skinny fish swimming by. So that's why nobody can see you from below. Guess we can't fool you anymore. Nope, nope, no, can't fool absolutely you. Absolutely no fooling you at all. But why did you leave your teeth in our cup? Don't you need them? Our teeth come out in whole rows like that. And grow back really quickly. But what about the teeth that disappeared? I put them down, and then they were gone. The teeth disappeared because I ate them. You ate your own teeth? <sighs> that doesn't sound very healthy. Mm, it is if you're a cookie cutter shark. Our teeth have lots of vitamins in them. So, the mystery is solved. But could you please stop nibbling on our equipment? OK, OK, but we'd really like a snack about now. Oh, oh yeah, oh, God, I'm really snack. hungry. Ah, I've got an idea for that. <laughs> this fish biscuit is way better than rubber. Absolutely. Ah, he's not wrong. <laughs> See, Tulip, nobody can resist a bite of your fish biscuits. <laughs> I'm a bit partial myself. You're not the only one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've got another. <laughs> 